Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review, demo, swatches, and this makeup look using the brand new Shantekai Perle Holiday 2021 collection. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this new holiday collection from Shantekai, then just keep on watching. I think we all lost our minds when we saw the new Chantecai Perle Holiday 2021 collection and Chantecai was so kind and they sent me the collection and I'm just so so grateful to Chantecai and so grateful to all of you my subscribers because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be getting these opportunities and I'm just so grateful for it but here to what you came for a review my honest feedback about this collection right here the collection as you can tell is petite they only came with three products and you know what I like that because sometimes holiday collections although they can be very extensive and fun but imagine every single brand doing that it gets exhausting so I really like to see something concise as this so this collection came with a blush a face powder as well as a Lumiere eyeshadow so let's go ahead and get it started right here First, let's go for the Rouge Perle Cheek Color in Akoya. Now, this product right here is made in Italy and it has a shelf life of 24 months. And it is fragrance-free, gluten-free, vegan, no animal testing. I love all of that. The product comes with two grams of product and all of the products actually, they come in this little satin pouch right here that you can reuse it. It says Shantekai. And now let me show to you this baby. Oh my gosh. Isn't it is so beautiful? So cute. Love the design of the compact. In fact, a couple years ago they came out with this Moonly Perle Glow Powder. Also with this Pearl Compact. Now this one right here has a little bit of like a golden tint to it. This one has a little bit more of like a silver tint to it. And in fact, I mean, if you are curious to see how it looks inside, just in case if you haven't seen it before, here you go, this is it. But anyhow, friends, let's go to this cheek blush. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. You know, we're seeing more and more these kind of shades, a little bit more of like, not super cool pink, but more pinkish. We're not seeing so much you know, the traditional peach shades or orangey tones. And this shade is beautiful, let's see. Ooh, it feels very silky. There you go. Let's see if I can swatch it. Sometimes it's hard to swatch blushes. Yeah, there you go. It has a slight sheen to it. There's no glitter, there's no shimmer in it but it's not matte. It does have just a slight, not even luminosity. I mean like barely, barely there, which actually makes me really excited because that means that it's not a flat matte. I'm gonna be using a Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush. That's how much I picked that right there. Let's go for it. Ooh, it has immediate payoff. Gosh, it looks very pretty. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful shade. It gives you these beautiful rosy cheeks, but it's just not too much. And by the way, all the details of my makeup, this collection, will be all in the description box below for your convenience. If you're wondering what lipstick I'm using, it's also from Shantekai. It's Lantana from their Fall 2021 collection. I do have a full-on review on this collection as well. If you want to go ahead and take a look at it after you watch this. But yeah, what do you think, my friends, about this blush right here? I'm actually really really liking it a lot and by the way i film in natural light i only have this backlight on right now so what you see right now is what you will see you know most likely in real life it looks very very beautiful okay the next product right here it is that lumiere eye sheen in baroque and this is a Unicar, also made in Italy with 24 months shelf life. Same thing, no animal testing, fragrance free, gluten free, and vegan. I really love the Unicars. They have this pearlized effect. It looks so beautiful. 
Once again, the eyeshadow also came on this little pouch. And then the packaging is exactly the same. In fact, they are the same size as the blush. Also with two grams of product. And by the way, right here, it says Shantekai. Let's see. Ooh, you know, my friends. This is a total me shade. Oh, I'm just so excited for this shade right here. It has a gorgeous flip. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture this, but it's kind of like this cool tone, mauve tone, and then as it flips, it turns a little bit into brown and green. It's just so beautiful. And it's so creamy. Creamy. It's a different formulation. Honestly, I cannot really put together where I have seen a formula like this. It feels like, like cream. Like cream. So see right there, you have this mauve cool tone pink and then flipping this side, you get brown, a hint of green in there too. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. A very subtle, subdued kind of like duochrome. I mean, just have a chief. I shouldn't say like it's a duo duochrome, but I mean, you can see the chief in there. It's so gorgeous. Sonia G Soft Shader. And by the way, the Beautylish sale, when you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure it's still going on right now. They restock on these brushes right here from Sonia G. I mean, there's so many restocks. So if you haven't checked out the gift card event from Beautylish, you should go ahead and check it out because it's a really, really good time to get products that are not that easy to find. And in fact, Beautylish right now is carrying Shandikai. What? Yes, I know. Isn't it that amazing? I love the service at Beautylish and I'm just so, so happy. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Do you see the chief in there? Let me just go ahead and apply it with my finger and let's see. I mean, definitely with the finger, you will get more concentration of the product. Wow. That's beautiful. You know, to what it reminds me of? It reminds me a lot to Pat McGrath, Sex Terrestrial Eyeshadow in the Divine Rose 2 palette. But it is not obviously as potent as the Pat McGrath. This is a more of like subdued version. But it doesn't have that strong green chief to it. Instead, it has more of like a brown, toppy brown undertone, which I think is more complementary. Mostly if you have texture on the eyelids. This shade is so pretty. I just applied a little bit of mascara, a little bit of eyeliner on the waterline, a little bit of a wing eyeliner. Again, all the products that I use today will be in the description box below for your convenience. And I also put a little bit of bronzer right underneath where are my lower lash lines. That's all what I have done. But yeah, I mean, this looks just lovely. Okay, I'm going right now for the last product. Last but not least, this is the Perle Lumiere face powder this product is also made in italy with 18 months shelf life again no animal testing violence free gluten free and vegan and it says right here a pearlescent highlighter balm that feels creamy to the touch and illuminates the skin with a gorgeous lit from within glow okay it says lightly dust along the top of your cheekbones the bridge of the nose and above the brow so we will do that right now again it comes in this beautiful satin pouch and here you have it this is it so beautiful oh my gosh i feel so bad to ruin the embossing on this beauty isn't it this so gorgeous and it does have a flip it does have a little bit of peach and pink in it it's just so so gorgeous that embossing is just amazing. And we have seen this embossing before. I think it was two years ago they came out with another collection, but I actually do not have that. Honestly, I feel so bad to have to swatch this right here, but oh well. Oh yeah, it does have a tiny chief. It's kind of like pearly in tone, definitely. And it has a little bit of pink, a tiny bit of like a warm, peachy undertone in it, but not too strong. It's more pinky. Ooh, that's so beautiful. 
and yes, it feels creamy to touch. It's not like a cream cream product and it's not actually as creamy as the eyeshadow. And by the way, if you are wondering about the size, I mean, the powder is just a dash bigger than the eyeshadow and the blush. Let me tell you how many grams you receive right here. It's 4.5 grams. So it's a little bit over double the size of the blush and the eyeshadow. Going with Sonia G Mini Cheek. And I'm just gonna go to this side because I feel so bad to ruin the little embossing right there. Just too pretty. And uh, let's see how this goes. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. That honestly melted into the skin. Do you saw that? I mean, I don't even need to keep buffing. There's no stripe right there. Goodness me, Shantekai. I'm telling you, the new formulations of highlighters are just so beautiful because they, they just do what they are supposed to do, give that beautiful glow to the skin without being like, here's a stripe of, you know, a metallic something. It's just, Honestly, this is just perfect. To me, this is what a highlighter is supposed to do. Just give a little bit of that glow that it makes your skin look healthy. And look, I'm doing more and more and it's never too much. Look at that. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And there, you see right here, it looks a little bit on the white side. It's not white. It's not pink pink, it's not peachy. No, it, it does have this pearlized effect. Pearlized, totally. Now going with my Refer 13 brush, I'm gonna take, I'm applying it here on my inner corner, just a little. And also here on my brow bone, as they suggested it. Okay, my friends, makeup is completely done this collection. Tiny but mighty. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Tiny but mighty. This one right here had me like, wow. Ooh, wow. Because it's not your typical highlighter. I mean, like, look at that. It just melted into the skin. It's a different type of formulation. Again, it's not as creamy as the eyeshadow, but it does have emollients that makes it so soft in the skin and makes makes it look like, you know, kind of like a cream highlighter that it, you tap it and it blends in, but this is in the powder version and it's just so amazing. I mean, I cannot see nothing, nothing. There's just that boom glow, you know, um, I was born like this, you know, <laughs> super healthy, super glowy. That's how my skin it is. I don't need any treatments. <laughs> I just need this right here. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous face powder, a highlighter, definitely. I mean, you can use it to buff, you know, around the perimeters of your face. Sadly, you will ruin the entire embossing if you decide to do that. But as a highlighter, oh my gosh, chef kiss. And then this right here, this amazing eyeshadow. This is a Lumiere eyeshade. The flip, the flip of this eyeshadow. It is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. You don't need two or three eyeshadows. I mean, like right now, I don't have a bronzer on my eyelid because usually when I have just one eyeshadow, I just tend to just go, you know, bronzer and then I go with it. No, this one doesn't need it just use this and it has that beautiful flip again it kind of reminds me a little bit to that eyeshadow from the divine rose palette from pat mcgrath the duochrome but not that intense and without that green because the green it was kind of like oh you know this one is to me a lot better because it has a taupey flip a taupey flip that is just so captivating it's so beautiful it reflects amazing there's no glitter there's just a sheen to your eyelids you know and i do have a lot of texture on my eyelids 
and it's not emphasizing them oh my gosh this is just so so pretty and then <laughs> this blush right here you know I'm just so excited for these kind of blushes that they are a little bit more pinky I know it looks kind of like a Barbie pink but look how it looks on the cheeks it looks just so healthy the cheeks look like okay you know kind of like that doll face but it's not too much you know what I mean and it's just so again it's a very kind of like creamy type of formulation so beautiful I'm gonna see just like wow with this collection again tiny but mighty and I love the packaging my friends the packaging is just gorgeous I know this collection will be sold out before the holidays arrive I mean the good thing is right now most of brands Shantikai being one of them they're trying to release their holiday collections you know ahead of time because with these changes you know after 2020 achievement and fulfillment is gonna you know it's gonna be something hard so i will highly suggest plan ahead if you're planning to pick up this collection any of the products from Shantikai, and i mean in general and you know pick them up while they are available because these right here are stunning all the three pieces are amazing thank you once again to Shantikai for sending the entire collection to me i greatly greatly appreciate it and now my friends i would love to know from you are you planning to pick up this Shantikai perle holiday 2021 collection perhaps you already have got some of the pieces let me know how you're liking them or perhaps they are on your wish list Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, also share with family and friends and until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye!